Welcome to Inside Texas Golf. We're on the tour again, this time in the Alamo City here at the TPC San Antonio AT&T course. This is the home of the Valero Texas Open. I'm Jeff Power. And I'm Jamie Ratliff. Did you know that San Antonio's PGA Tour stop is the third oldest tournament on the tour? Began back in 1922, moved here in 2010, but before that played at La Quintera for 10 years. And you know there's two courses here, of course the Canyons course and the AT&T Oaks course, which is where this one's played. In fact, the players absolutely love it. The defending champion is Adam Scott. He's had a great 2011. We caught up with some of the players to talk about this event. And the condition of the course is perfect, it's immaculate, beautiful, playing off the fairways, so uh, got to try and hit them. This course is excellent, it's in great shape, it's probably one of the best shaped courses of the year so far, and um, it's long, it's tough, if the wind blows it can be, it can be pretty brutal, but uh, the greens are excellent, and um, you know, I think you're going to see some pretty good scoring this week. I, I like the golf course, uh, they give you a lot of room off the tee to hit it, but if you don't hit it in that area, you're going to be in trouble. So uh, it, it's a fun golf course to play if the winds stay down. If the winds start picking up, uh, it, it gets real challenging. It's a really nice course. It's, um, the, the layout fits in with the land really well. Uh, I love the scrub oaks or whatever they're called, these little miniature oak trees. They're just beautiful to look at. Um, but there's not a lot of room out there in between the oak trees. <laughs> so if you can get through this week without hitting any provisional balls, I think you're going to be okay. It's a very demanding golf course. It's, uh, it's pretty tight off the tee. And of course, here in Texas in the springtime, the wind tends to blow pretty good. So it's definitely a, a ball striker's golf course. It's one where uh, you, know, you hit the ball in the fairway, you're going to have some birdie opportunities, but uh, a little bit offline. And, and uh, you can be struggling. It's it's tough, you know. You, you gotta you gotta drive the ball well here and hit some good iron shots. I, I think it's a good test. Uh, you know, if you play well here for four days, you deserve it. It's a course that rewards a bit of aggression in a lot of spots, but you gotta be careful with it because if you hit it in the wrong spot, there's some big numbers out there. It's very interesting on the greens. Um, you gotta really you gotta manage your iron game. You gotta hit good yards with your irons. If not, you're going to be struggling uh, getting it up and down. But uh, overall, I think it's a very good golf course, fair test, but uh, but tough. Conditions are perfect. Uh, the overseed this year uh, has made the greens a little bit slower, uh, a little bit softer, uh, so a little more playable. Uh, last year they were kind of firm and fast and tough to get real close to. Texas hospitality, though, it, there, there's nothing like it. And um, it's nice to come here. And They had uh, some great uh, barbecue on the range on Tuesday. Uh, Omar had his, his uh, fajitas on the range on, on Tuesday afternoon, uh, which is always unbelievably good, and, and uh, the food's great. Um, but you know, the, the crowds here in Texas are always really, uh, real hospitable. Um, they're knowledgeable, and uh, it is, it's, it's fun to play in Texas. It's definitely a different vibe than the other states. We're joined now by Jimmy Terry, Director of Golf and General Manager for TPC San Antonio. Thank you so much for joining us. You bet. Uh, let's talk about, this is the second year that the Valero Texas Open has been here. Talk about the preparation for this or what goes into it. Well, it's not really work for us. It's a lot of fun because we uh, have the opportunity to host not only one tour event here, but we actually will host two this year. So we'll get to do this twice. We'll do the AT&T Championship in October. Uh, but you know, being the second year, it's been it's been very exciting. A little bit more calm than the first year. You know, the first time you host something, there's a little bit of nerves and a little bit of question mark in the back of your mind whether you're really prepared or not. But we had a great year last year, and and really there wasn't a lot of changes. Just a little tweaks here and there, both whether it's with the golf course in a couple of spots, with the hospitality from Golf Center. Antonio or really how we handle guests and, and patrons with parking so just a few tweaks here and there we take our after action reports and we look at them and we just make our adjustments and hope everybody comes out and enjoys it this year as well. Well you've got a strong field of golfers playing here. It's a great field it really is we uh, had a couple of big names last year but we got a lot of great fresh new names this year that haven't played in the Valero, Valero Texas Open for either many years or never before. Angel Cabrera, who's a two-time major champion, uh, he's here this year. He's never played in the Texas Open, so it's great to have him here. We have five of the top 10 finishers in the Masters from last week and eight of the top 20. And then we also have our local San Antonio team of, of Jimmy Walker and Cameron Beckman, who all the local folks like to see come out and do well. And other native Texans like Justin Leonard, Johnny Vegas from uh, UT. So uh, it's, it's exciting to have a great field and uh, great weather this year. What's the response been from golfers about this course? 
They love it. I mean, we're very fortunate here to have two wonderful golf courses designed by World Golf Hall of Fame members, Pete Dye and, and then Greg Norman. Uh, the the at t Oaks course designed by Norman. It's tough. I mean, uh, Golf San Antonio uses unapologetically Texan kind of as their uh, tagline for their tournament. Well, the, the at t Oaks is unapologetically difficult. It's a, it's a very strong golf course. If you're not accurate, it doesn't help. So uh, one of the, I think it's a great really a, a, a fully comprehensive golf course because you can't fake it. If you have a weakness in your game, it will show up somewhere out here. You have to be, uh, not only do you need to drive it in the fairway, but the, the greens are situated such that you really have to have uh, great control with your irons to make sure that you not only put it on the green, but put it in the right part of the green. And if you miss the green, you can get a little busy. There's some swells and some really gnarly, nasty kind of bunkers that can uh, be a little difficult for you. What's the response been moving it from La Cantera to here? It's been great. The, the, the field has is, uh, is, is improved. I think the event has grown over the last two years as well. You know, the, the Texas Open, this is the 89th playing of it. So next year will be the 90th anniversary of the Texas Open. Started in 1922. Has a long, long history here in San Antonio with with great golf courses and, and, and starting with Brackenridge Park in the, in the early days, Oak Hills, uh, Lock and Terror. We, you know, we're just humbled and honored to be a part of it and kind of take our place in it. it it's a, a comprehensive resort facility as you see here. The players can kind of just get up, roll out of bed and come out and play. And uh, we're just happy to, to be able to have, to have the opportunity to host it and uh, we hope it just continues to get bigger and better and better. Valero this year, uh, a record charitable number that they raised, they announced on Tuesday they raised $9 million for charity, which uh, is remarkable uh, in these days and time. Jimmy Terry, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bob Putt. I'm a PJ Master Professional. Welcome to Columbia Lakes. Most everybody uh, in golf has a lot of trouble with alignment and aiming, and uh, I'm here to help you uh, do that a lot better today. <clears throat> like on this tee box, if you notice the tee line is aiming you right in the woods. That's where a lot of golf course architects make you uh, aim, not on purpose. Sometimes it's the construction guys that, that uh, actually build the tee, but a lot of times it's, uh, especially with Pete Dye, some of the older architects, they want to make you aim in the woods, uh, just to help your score along all they can. So when you're on the tee, make sure that you don't align yourself with where the tee box is aiming. Pick a spot out five or six inches in front of the ball. Aim at something there, just like Jack Nicklaus did all those years, uh, to where you want the ball to go. In other words, if I want to aim down the center of the tee, I'm probably going to choose this orange or yellow tee compared to the white or the, this other yellow tee. In this direction, it would face me right in the woods. In this direction, now I'm going down the tee line because I'm aiming from here to this yellow tee. Always choose something that's right in front of the ball. It's in the direction that you want the ball to go. Most people get their stance first, like stance first, and then start shifting around to where they want to hit the ball. <clears throat> you have to get your stance last. First thing would be your grip. Next thing is you're gonna set the club down. Next thing is you're gonna aim from the ball to your intermediate target. Make sure that's where you want the ball to go. Point your toes facing the same direction that the club's facing. And then the last thing is you take the stance. 90% of everybody goes stance, club, wiggle, shift, kill. The last thing is make sure that you use your dominant eye. Only use your dominant eye to aim. It'll make you aim 12 times better. Okay, I know that this will really help you, especially if you're a beginning player. You gotta make sure that you aim good. That's one of the most important things. If you have perfect grip and everything else is perfect, but if you aim in the woods, that's where the ball is gonna go if you make a perfect swing. I hope you get a chance to come back to Columbia Lakes real soon. I know you're gonna love it out here. It's real quiet, real peaceful, and uh, it's real pretty. This portion of Inside Texas Golf is brought to you by G-Glove, the best way to keep your club grips dry in wet course conditions. Well, coming up on Inside Texas Golf, we'll introduce you to some Texans on tour here in San Antonio, as well as one golfer who dominated this event in recent years. Plus, we'll have more one-on-one -on -one interviews from here at the Valero Texas Open when Inside Texas Golf returns to TPC San Antonio. 
Introducing the G-Glove, the best way to keep your golf club grips dry and clean while you play. Wet grass, sand, dirt, and mud all reduce the effectiveness of your club grips when laid on the ground. G-Glove is flexible and fits into your pocket or golf bag. Slides on real easy. I can use it for one club, I can use it for two clubs. I've been caught in the rain with G-Glove and it's not a problem. With the G-Glove, I can lay my clubs down anywhere. G-Glove, it fits every club in the bag. G-Glove is only $9.99. Protect your grip while you play. Order your G-Glove today. The Dunes Condos in Port Aransas invites you to enjoy relaxation in one of 85 fully furnished one, two, and three bedroom suites with maid service. From the spacious pool and jacuzzi to the tennis courts and exercise facilities, come enjoy the closest condos to the water. Whether it's golf at the Arnold Palmer Design Newport Dunes or tossing in a line off the 1200 foot Caldwell Pier, come get away from it all while rejuvenating in front of spectacular views. The Dunes Condos. Stay three and the next night is free. Trivia time. Trivia time. Let's go ahead and answer last show's trivia question. Who was the last native Texan to win the Shell Houston Open? General Sam Houston. No. No. Okay. Actually, it was uh, Johnson Wagner who called Amarillo home. He's a native of Amarillo, then moved to North Carolina. So congratulations to our winner who has won two free rounds of golf at Redstone Golf Club. You know, San Antonio is the 10th largest city in the United States and a big one for tourists. And I'm from there. Hey, I was born here too, a triplet no less. Three of you. There are three of me. Oh my goodness. Well, two girls and myself. Your but poor mother. Hey, you know. <laughs> Speaking of trifecta, Justin Leonard has actually won this Valero Texas Open three times. Only Arnold Palmer can say that. Justin got a chance to sit down with us and the former Longhorn's excited about the fact that he's won 12 PGA Tour events. We're now joined by Justin Leonard, three-time winner here in San Antonio at the Valero Texas Open. That's got a good ring to it, doesn't it? You must love coming here. It does. I, I do love coming down here. Um, you know, first to La Quintera and now here. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's a little ways from Dallas, but it feels like uh, feels very close to home. Talk about this Texas swing for the Texas PGA golfers. What's it like playing this close to home? Well, it's nice. I think a lot of us wish it was uh, the tournaments were, were all together. Um, you know, Texas, and then we're off to Georgia and, and uh, Louisiana and all kinds of places, and then we get back up to Dallas and Fort Worth. Uh, but it's, uh, it is nice to, to be able to, you know, stay this close to home. Looking at this particular tournament, now that it's moved over to the JW Marriott TPC San Antonio, tell me about the layout here. Do you like the way the, uh, the Oaks course plays? I do like it. It's, um, uh, you know, last year it was very firm and, and, and very difficult. This year with the overseed, it softened up a little bit and, and it's in beautiful condition. And uh, I think the golf course is going gonna, is gonna to play a little, uh, um, not necessarily easier, but, but maybe just fairer this year. Tell me about that wind playing in that Lone Star State wind. It seems like it's always a factor in all these tournaments. It is, and it's been a really windy spring. So uh, I was at home last week, so and it was blowing again, so good preparation for this week. So what's the, what do you try to do? Is it, you actually try to hit knockdown shots, keep it low, yeah, anything like just that? Keep, keep the, try and keep the ball out of the wind and take some spin off of it. Ryder Cup, uh, tell us about 1997, 99, those years just playing on that Ryder Cup team, being a part of those teams and what it was like for you. Well, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, early in my career to be a part of those teams and, and be around some of those guys that uh, that I was friends with and, and continue to be friends with. Uh, um, making those teams has always been a lot of fun. That putt, still great memories of that putt, 45 footer right in the hole? Yeah, yeah, a lot of great memories. And, uh, um, you know, every I get to relive it every couple of years during Ryder Cups because it's always talked about quite a bit. Do you hear a lot about the celebration too? Is that just kind of part of it? Because, I mean, you, you look like you were enjoying yourself for sure. Yeah, no, don't hear much about that. <laughs> okay. Any other final thoughts about uh, being back home and just trying to, you know, pull a victory here close to your your, your home state here? No, yeah, it's just uh, just good to be back. Okay, Justin, thank okay. you very much. You Appreciate your time. The best thing about Columbia Lace is it's uh, it's serene. It's very peaceful, very quiet. Everybody says the same thing. It's quiet and peaceful that uh, you don't know anybody's really here. The trees 
make everything here. Not only a tremendous amount of trees, but they're huge. They're all live oaks with Spanish moss on them, and it kind of reminds you of a Georgia type of feel where everything's laid back, it's peaceful, quiet, and uh, the people are all friendly. Uh, it's just a neat area. Anything you can do to make that golfer have more fun, whether it be to give him a tip on the practice range with fixing his grip or helping his alignment, you know, or just really making him feel welcome and giving him really good service, that's, that's what our job is all about.